Hey guys, welcome to today's video. I'm gonna try to do a little bit of vlogging today. Alex and I are headed downtown Toronto to the Metro Toronto Convention Center to Fan Expo. Um, I'm really excited to go there because the first thing we're going to be doing is attending a mini Sharon Lois and Bram concert. Of course, though, Lois passed away in 2015, so it will just be Bram and Sharon and Sharon's daughter, Randy, um, and they're going to sing some of their songs, um, which is awesome because, like, the last time I saw them do a little show was um, back in November 2019 when they were doing a book signing at Indigo Bookstore and if you want to see that video I'll link it in the iCard um, or in the description below or something like that but um, that was supposed to be their final performance um, but since then they did a, they did a concert well I think what's been happening is Sharon's been performing with her daughter Randy and Bram is not really usually performing anymore um I think he's done maybe a couple little things here and there but anyways that last performance that I saw in November of 2019 I thought was supposed to be their final performance ever because I remember specifically like the final song with Skinamarink and Sharon was getting emotional because like it was supposed to be the final so anyway, so it was like a real treat to see them again. Um, and, you know, because when I went to Comic-Con in March of this year, it was only Sharon and Elephant. So, and the reason for that was because Bram was actually on a trip at the time. So he couldn't um, join them the last time. So I am very excited to um, go to this concert and um, so that'll be the first thing we'll be doing when we get there. And then I believe immediately following it, they're supposed to have um, a meet and greet. Um, and it's free, just like the last time. So you can go and meet them, get a picture taken with them. Um, I heard Elephant is supposed to be there today, but like not till later in the day. It's kind of weird, like... It says on the schedule that at such and such a time, it's going to be Sharon and Bram. And then at another time, it's just going to be Sharon and Elephant. So I'm kind of like, oh, it would have been nice to have like all three of them to meet together in a, like to have a picture with all three of them. Um, I don't know if anything will change with that. I don't know, like, um, cause it would be nice, but at least I saw Elephant last time and Next week, they're going to be releasing their third book for the song Peanut Butter and Jelly. Um, and they're going to be selling it early at the show today. So you can purchase the, the new book and get them to sign it. So I'm excited to do that because I, when I first met them, like I said, in November 2019, I got them to sign. I bought the Skinamarink book and got them to sign it at that. Then when I saw Sharon again uh, in March, I bought their One Elephant Went Out to Play songbook and got that signed. So now I'll have their third book and get it signed as well. So I'm excited to do that. So come along with us. I don't know exactly how much videoing or vlogging or picture taking or whatever I'll do because there are a lot of things at these things that I'm not really interested in, but also if it's anything like when I went to Comic-Con, it's super packed and crowded and busy. So it makes it really difficult to like film stuff because you really can't like stop and like film. Otherwise you're like blocking people. So I don't know how it's going to go. I, it might be similar to the, like when I went to Comic-Con I just got like a couple of video clips and then mostly photos to share with you guys but come along we'll see I'm hoping to get some video of the concert and I hope you enjoy it we'll see you at the show
She comes wool back. She'll be driving six white horses when she comes wool back. She'll be driving six white horses. Six white horses. She'll be driving six white horses when she comes wool back. Choo choo. Go out to meet her when she comes. Hi, babe. We'll all go out to meet her when she comes. Hi. To meet her when she comes. Hi, babe. Oh, back. Toot, toot. One elephant went out to play upon a spider's web one day. She had such enormous fun that she called for another elephant to come. Let's go, dear. I'll let you, babe. Here, stand up, dear. Left one day. We had such enormous fun, but they called another elephant to no. come. <laughs> <laughs> Mama called the doctor and the doctor said, No more monkeys jumping on the bed. Four little monkeys jumping on the bed. One fell off and bumped his head. Mama called the doctor and the doctor said, no more monkeys jumping on the bed. Three little monkeys jumping on the bed. One fell off and bumped his head. Mama called the doctor and the doctor said, No more monkeys jumping on the bed. Two little monkeys jumping on the bed. One fell off and bumped her head. Mama called the doctor and the doctor said, No more monkeys jumping on the bed. One little monkey jumping on the bed. He fell off and bumped his head. Mama called the doctor and the doctor said, No more monkeys jumping on the bed. No little monkeys jumping on the bed. None fell off and bumped their head. Mama called the doctor and the doctor said, Put those monkeys right to bed. Now, if you, if you looked at Sharon and at Randy, you see they did this. He what, always what, makes fun of me when I do that. What is that? <laughs> Wait, what about Mama said, Hey Siri, call the doctor. <laughs> Here's how I call the doctor. <laughs> yeah, that's the doctor. 
doctor, but... Doctor's on speed dial. <laughs> we were thinking that we would sing... This is very tricky because we did not plan to do this concert without the proper setup that we would normally have. So we're trying to... This is good. This is a singing song, not an action song, but it requires all of your participation, including your brain. How about me? Yeah, you can sing to No, I mean, tell me what we're going to bring. We're going to do Jelly Jelly in my belly. Oh, okay. Let's go back. You want to know that one? Okay. So... Okay, so we... We're gonna we're gonna do a song that is cumulative and about food. We so if you have a food, food that you love, think about it. And if you're gonna put your hand up, have your food ready. Because if we call on you and you're like starting to think about what food it might be, yeah. so it happens a lot. It's fine. We do. Four, six, eight. Tell me what is on your plate. Jelly. We're gonna have some jelly. Hooray, hooray. We're gonna have some jelly. Hooray, hooray. Jelly for our dinner. Jelly every day. Jelly, jelly in my belly. Hip, 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 hooray. See that part. Jelly, jelly in my belly, hip, 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 hooray. Jelly, jelly in my belly, hip, 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 hooray. Two, four, six, eight, tell me what is on your plate. Now we need to see someone in a lap with a hand up. Yes. Pizza. pizza. I knew it was going to be pizza. <laughs> Guess what I had for dinner last night? Pizza. We're, We're going to have some pizza. Hooray. Hooray, we're gonna have some pizza, hooray, hooray, pizza for our dinner, pizza every day. Say it everybody. Pizza and jelly jelly in my belly, hip 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 hooray, jelly jelly in my belly, hip 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 hooray, two, four. Two more minutes. Hey, hey dum diddly dum. <laughs> hey, dum diddly dum. Hey, dum diddly dum. Hey, dum diddly. Hey, dum diddly. Hey, dum diddly dum. Skimming a rinky dinky dink, skimming a rinky do. I love you. Skimming a rinky dinky dink, skimming a rinky do. I love you. Whoa. I love you in the morning and in the afternoon. I love you in the evening underneath the moon. Skimming a rinky dinky dink, skimming a rinky do. 
Boston Pizza, and they're playing Taylor Swift. Yeah. Don't blame me. Every time, every time you love me. Oh, Lord, save me. My drug is my baby. I'll be using for the rest of my Using for the rest of my life. Take us to church, Taylor. <laughs> Okay guys, so we are home from the Fan Expo. Um, I'll kind of recap in a minute, but um, I just wanted to quickly show some of the things, well, the things that I got from Fan Expo. Um, so let's take them out of the bag and see. I didn't get a ton, um, but okay. So the first thing I got, I could not resist them. And it turns out they were the very last ones that this woman had made. She had no more of this fabric left. So I got the very last one and it's a pair of handmade oven mitts with the golden girls on it. And it says, thank you for being a friend. It's got all the Golden Girls. They're sort of cartoonish Golden Girls. Super adorable. Love it. Um, and we were in need of new oven mitts as well because, like, we have one pair that's getting pretty old and shabby. And then, of course, um, before meeting Sharon and Bram and Elephant, uh, I bought their brand new book, which is the which is Peanut Butter and Jelly. It's one of my favorite songs of theirs. And uh, they did perform it in the little concert that I put some video of. Um, it's the peanut, peanut butter and jelly. Um, and so it was really cool because uh, 
they, this isn't coming out until August 29th. Um, so you got to get it there early at the show and it is signed. It says to Crystal and Sharon's daughter, Randy signed it. Sharon signed it and Bram. It's too bad elephant can't sign. I'm, I understand why. I mean, it's, it's a guy in an elephant costume, so it's probably hard to hold a pen and sign, but um so yeah so it's a brand new book I love how they're doing this so the very first book of theirs that I got was the Skinnamarink song um and they did a book signing of that at Indigo bookstores on the release day and they did a little concert and that was the first time I met Sharon and Bram I'm still bummed that I never got to meet Lois she passed away oh I think it was 2015 that she passed away if memory serves um <clears throat> but what they've done when they make these books of some of their big songs is they expand on the songs so for the skin of rink um when they did the book um they expanded the song to include extra verses um, because, you know, you, if you kept it at just the way the song is, you can't really get a book out of that. It's too short. So, um, it's really cool. And all of them have been written by Randy, which is, uh, Sharon's daughter. And so then the next book that they came out with, which I bought when I went to Comic-Con to meet Sharon and Elephant, and got that one signed. Um, their second book was The One Elephant Went Out to Play Upon a Spider's Web One Day. Um, and again, they expanded on it to include like other jungle animals. Um, so that's really cool. And now for the peanut butter and jelly one, um, I'm going to have to go and listen to the new version just so that I can get down the the melody and the beat of the new parts um because they've added new parts like with this whole intro of if your tummy is a grumbly and you don't know what to eat come join us in the kitchen as we make a tasty treat peanut peanut butter and jelly um so there has to be like a new little beat to some of those parts um, I heard a snippet of it, but I, I need to go and listen to the whole thing. So it's actually a, a quite a, a thick book. Um, so that's exciting. And then of course, uh, Retro Kid, um, there was so much that I wanted from the Retro Kid booth, but I just did not have the money to get them all. So I had to be really, really selective. Like I wanted the Cookie Monster shirt. I wanted the loaf of bread. Uh, what is it? Loaf of bread, container of milk and stick of butter. Uh, Sesame Street tote bag. I wanted that one too. Um, and what else? I was really eyeing also like typewriter guy from their, their new Sesame Street collection. Um, but A, also the other thing I have to consider, like, I love Retro Kid. I'm obsessed with their stuff. They keep coming out with these amazing designs and shirts. And it's like, I'm running out of closet space now for my clothes. Whereas, like, before my, my Reborn dolls had more, well, they still have more clothes than me. But I'm just saying, like, I'm going to have to start to get rid of some baby clothes that are hanging up in our office closet to make some extra space for my clothes now because I just I love their shirts and I'm sure they're going to continue to come out with like more and more designs that I'm going to obsess over um but yeah so it's like limited space for shirts and limited funds right now because I'm not working and I still haven't gotten any clients yet although I'm really starting to pick up on my marketing so hopefully soon um, but anyways, Retro Kid has a brand new postcard that they usually send out when you order something. 
Um, so this one's a brand new card. So if you guys are interested, like Retro Kid is amazing. They make these amazing shirts of things that we grew up with. Um, TV shows we watched as children in the 80s, 90s. Um, so there's their information. So yeah, they have a new postcard. And we got Fundip. Um, usually every time I order from them, they send a pack of Fun Dip. Usually it's this kind, but this time we got two. And we also got these cool Retro Kids stickers that look like the Much Music logo, but it says Retro Kid. And so the shirt that I ended up, um, basically going with is the yip yip character yip 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 uh-huh uh-huh now part of me wasn't gonna get this um because personally myself i would like to see them do a design where you have both yip yips because i mean there was always two of them together so i'm not sure why they chose to just have one they should have had both of them and they should have had them colorized not like white they should have had them in their colors I think they were like pink and blue or purple and blue or something like that the two of them um but this is the only design they have at this time I mean maybe in the future they'll come out with a bet an another one that I like better and then I could always sell this one and get the other one in the future but I still couldn't pass it up because the yip yips were definitely a favorite of mine on Sesame Street. The yip yip yip, uh huh, uh huh. And they also have up here where they're saying nope, nope, because um, you know that sometimes they would say nope. Um, so it's just a black t shirt with that. And apparently they were trying to go for like a Bob Marley feel with it because they always thought that the yip yips looked like they had dreadlocks. So they tried to kind of do like a Bob Marley feel with this. Apparently that's what the concept was, which is kind of cool. I like Bob Marley's music. Um, so that's cool. So anyways, um, that's what I got from Fan Expo. Okay, guys. So, um, yeah, we, we had a good time. Um, the only thing though is just way too crowded. Um, like just trying to get near any booths to look at stuff is so difficult like it's so crowded i will say though the area that we went to this time was a different area than i went to it was the same venue as um comic con but in comic con i stayed in this other area and i'm assuming that the area we went to today they probably also were utilizing that for Comic-Con, but I just wasn't even aware because it's like a whole separate like area of the building. Um, but that area in particular, the, the aisles were at least wider than the area I was in for Comic-Con because Comic-Con was the same thing. Like I was trying to see stuff at the booths, but I couldn't really stop to look because I felt like I was blocking people and also there was like people already like up at the booth and there was no room for me to like get right up to the tables to look at stuff um which is why it worked out that like once I had met um Luke from Gilmore Girls and it was like later in the evening and things were dying down in terms of crowd then I was able to go back and shop at some of the booths but this time we didn't really get to do that. Like there was a couple of booths that weren't too crazy that we were able to have a look at and do a little bit of shopping at, um, retro kid. Like I said, um, we were already there to see Almo and cookie monster, which was fun. Um, and Sharon and Bram were right next door to retro kid. So those two were like, pretty much like back to back, um, which was good. Like, um, it just made it easier to see both of them. And then there was some other booths, like the one where I got the golden girl oven mitts. That one wasn't too chaotic, but like Alex wanted to look at the artists area where like there's artists that do like drawings and paintings and stuff um but 
we tried going into that area and you could not move. It was like a, a sea of people, couldn't get around. And it was just like, Alex was like, no, I can't do this. So we left that area. Um, and yeah, I wanted to do, they had Squishimals, Squishimalo, uh, booth where you could play like a Plinko game and depending on where your Plinko lands, like you could win like a giant Squishmallow or like a miniature one or whatever. I didn't see any signage specifying whether it was free or not, but there was a massive lineup. I mean, it was like they had one of those things leading into it that was like going around like this, but then it also went all the way around the booth to the other side of the booth and down a hallway and I was just like, there's no way I'm standing in line that long for Squishmallow. Sorry, like, even if it's free, I'm not, I'm not standing. We, we would have been there, like, for hours on end. Um, and then we tried to do, there was apparently, like, where you could meet Teenage, new, teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Um, but we missed the window for that. We, by the time we got there... They had cut off the line because I guess it was only like a 15 minute long meet and greet. So we didn't make it in for that one. Um, the lineup was, again, long. So, yeah. So we just kind of meandered around, did a little bit of shopping. And then we were like, we're done. Our feet were killing us. Our legs were killing us. We were tired. We were hungry. Um, so we left and we had to walk all the way back through the other building and then we went across the street and we had just Boston pizza, um, which is always good. Love Boston pizza. Um, and then we went home. We took the subway and the bus home. So, I mean, we, we enjoyed ourselves. We had a, a great afternoon. Um, we loved meeting Sharon and Bram. Alex was thrilled because um, Bram immediately noticed Alex's shirt, which is the shirt um, that you saw in the little haul, that package that Nicole sent. Um, and Bram looked at the shirt, read it, and was like, I agree. And, <laughs> and they started laughing. And then, she, and I was laughing because he said, I agree. And then Sharon was like, what's going on? What's, what's so funny? So he's like, look at his shirt. And she, so Alex was thrilled that Sharon and Bram, Bram especially loved his NASA shirt. <laughs> so he was, he was quite happy about that. Um, it was nice meeting them again. It was my third time, my second time meeting Bram third time meeting Sharon and second time meeting Elephant. But for Alex, this was his first time. Um, and then we absolutely loved meeting Cookie Monster and Elmo and the main guy that I always see on Retro Kid, like the main guy that runs Retro Kid. I keep forgetting his name, but he is always there at the booth and I love seeing him because it's like I, I see him making the announcements of new merch all the time on Retro Kids Instagram. So it was really cool. Um, so we enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed whatever footage I got. I, I don't think I got too much video. Um, because it was, again, it was just like, what do you film? Because really like it, it was so hard to move in there. Um, but I did get some pictures and I'll, I'll put those at the end of this as a little slideshow. If you guys want to watch the pictures and, um, yeah, thanks so much for watching guys. We'll see you next time. Bye. Mm -hmm.